Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new mini album to share with you. And this is made with this beautiful uh, paper collection from Graphic 45 Gilded Lily. Really love the softness and uh, the beautiful images in uh, this uh, paper line. And also I promised you a tutorial for uh, this paper. So there will be a 13-part uh, uh, video tutorial on how to make this from start to finish. And also I tried to make it a bit easy, so if you are a new uh, beginner you can follow along. And uh, it's a lot of fussy cutting again uh, going on here, but I will try to um, tell you a bit what uh, other things you can uh, use here. You can use uh, flowers and uh, from maybe wild paper crafts or uh, yeah, and it's a lot of embellishments uh, to go with this paper, shipboard cutouts and uh, yeah. So for this I used uh, all the three uh, sizes, 12 by 12, 8 by 8 and 6 by 6. And I also used the pockets and tags, but you can use uh, stickers uh, also if you like to. And yeah, I also used uh, the ephemera cards. So can maybe show you a bit close up of on the cover here. Not sure you can see it, but it's really dimensional, the flowers and so. So this you can choose to glue flat down or you can make it dimensional and pop it up with uh, pop dots. And I also have uh, tucked a couple of tags behind here. So, so maybe take them out uh, late, <laughs> later. So and here I have a rounded spine and there were some of you who wonder how I uh, made this cover here uh, for this uh, journal that I showed uh, before in a video. And it's made the same way except this is all the way around on one piece of um, TVEC envelope. But here I just took the side. So I also show you how you make that. So and uh, the back is... Uh, Plain. So I used uh, Martha Stewart some different punches uh, throughout uh, the album. So then we can open it and the, the page uh, sizes is 8 by 5. So it closes with uh, this seam binding. So we can start on the front here. here I just uh, tucked in a couple of tags and here it says is if the crown fits. And gilded lily. And use the punch again here. And here are some fussy cut uh, outs and uh, you don't have to do that. You can leave it plain or you can just use some borders and glue over if you like to. So can maybe stick them inside again. So. And the pages are bound uh, together with uh, my hinge uh, to hinge binding. So uh, maybe some other have come up with the same idea also, but I've used it uh, for a couple of years now and it works really great so it can be adjusted if we need to. And uh, this is uh, the first page and it's uh, five pages here and all the pages are built up the same way. So some of these flaps I cut down a bit and some I left uh, all the way. So here you can see a window with the acetate so you can uh, place a photo behind or you can place it over on the acetate also. So it opens like this and uh, place a photo here. And this uh, slides out and you can do some journaling here and um, yeah. And on the back side here, I, uh, on all the back sides I uh, also used all the three uh, stamp sets. So I stamped it with uh, gold. So uh, that was that one and it's another tag inside here. So just with a frame here and some more stamping. I can maybe take it inside again so you can see from uh, the other side that they meet up. So here I have the same borders on both sides. So on this uh, page here's a sort of uh, slider uh, arrow from the pockets and uh, tags. So this opens this way. So I'm not sure I get it all in frame. And here I have a little tag inside if I haven't glued it down so and get a water strip from a Martha Stewart and uh, a little pocket on this side so here I used uh, the ephemera card 
make a little pocket and this also slides out so you can place a photo here and do some journaling here or just place a photo over so it goes inside like so and closes up with the arrow and uh, on this side here I cut down uh, this um, flip out here and made it to two pockets so this is loose can be taken out just tuck it inside again so and it opens up see if I manage to stay in frame here so with a couple of tags inside here so and a belly band here and this is from the pockets and tags and a stool and this beautiful lady so this goes behind Here is a little uh, envelope from the pockets and the tags. So, on the frame here. So, this closes up with the magnets. Yeah, I can take it out so you can see the rest here. So, and here is another photo frame for some photos. And here I used the die throughout the album from Sherry Lynn. So, and some stamping on the back. And uh, also this tag here with a frame to put in a photo and some more stamping. And this uh, can take it inside so you can see it from uh, the other side. So, so these two uh, middle, uh, or it's not middle pages, uh, number uh, two and three, they are uh, exactly the same. So the, here I just filmed uh, this side here. So a tag on the top here. And this uh, flips up and so and you can do some journaling here and also you can stack a little tag inside here if you like to. And this I have a tutorial on how to make and you can also use uh, the tags from the uh, 12 by 12 paper to make uh, this sort of uh, tags in the album. So and it's the uh, same on this side here so it flips up like so maybe show you both so and then this is a sort of a type of a matchbox uh, so this uh, flips up so I can maybe flip the other one up as well so here so there are two similar uh, photo mats uh, in the cup cut the box here so I uh, when I fuzzy cut the images I save uh, the frames so these are made a pocket on top here so you can put a photo here and also put a photo behind here so, and all the images here are uh, covered with a multi-medium mat to make them a, a bit more stiff so they won't tear so easy and they also have uh, some tiny tags behind here so see if I've glued it so, so this was a bit stuck in between here so <laughs> And then I have to glue it uh, and do that on the side here. So, we'll stick. And one more on the other side. So it's uh, the same tags. So, and then you just bend it up a bit and fold it under here. So, and uh, here is uh, the tag for this side. So here is uh, another photo mat. So we also have a, uh, these are uh, cut out from uh, the backing paper of 12 by 12. So this fits inside here. You can do some uh, journaling on the bottom here. So you can take it inside again so you can see it from the other side also. So here you see the tag meets up here, and uh, here is uh, the same pull-out uh, flip, so uh, this opens like so, and here I uh, have this belly band loose, so here is from the pockets and uh, tags, so, and uh, here is another photo mat, like so on the back, so this uh, slides in between here, and it closes up with a magnet here. So and then it opens here 
and here you can take some photos inside and uh, some more photo mats here and here you can see the same Sherry Lynn uh, corner die again so. and uh, and it pulls out and there and the tag was and then you can see the back uh, side of the stamp in here so uh, yeah please for some more photos here and stamping on the back this inside and uh, for the other side here, here is also from the pockets and uh, tags. So this goes inside here. And uh, can place a photo here. And this can also be placed here with a photo there. So I think I will leave it in there for now. And then this flips out or up. <laughs> and uh, here is um, from the pockets and uh, tags cutouts. And another frame here. And some more photo mats inside here. So you can place a photo here and do some journaling here. And you can place photos over here and uh, do some journaling or so on the back. So let's go inside here. And uh, the tag for uh, this page here. So here's another pocket. So and also a photo frame. And place a, a photo over here also. So that we can take it inside so you can see it from the other side. So. And uh, this was the uh, page number four. So here is another flip page with a tag under. Just have these images here for a stopper so the tags won't slide all the way down. And it flips up or out. <laughs> I'm really tired now. I've been filming all day so I just finished uh, the tutorial. So hope you can excuse me. So here is a pocket with another tag and this was from the ephemera cards. And some more tags inside here in the pocket. Uh, this I just uh, left uh, plain, so you can uh, place a photo over, and you can um, take. A, I can show you here. It's a tag inside here. If I can reach it now. So, so you can place a photo here and also on the tag here. So that slides in here again. So, and some stamping on the back side. And uh, now the last uh, page. Uh, this is also a flip out. And here I have some from the pockets and tags cutouts. And uh, you can do some journaling here. And it flips out. And here are some small um, tags. And uh, when you uh, take out this uh, tags, can maybe show you here. And you get uh, this, so you can use this to trace your own uh, tags or pockets. So it's a great to use as a template, so that I did with uh, this here. So this stuck inside this little pocket here. We can do some journaling on the top here also, in the frame. And some more photo mats and tags inside here. And place a photo here as well. So. And uh, all these are just suggestions, so it's not the meaning that you have to follow it all. It's a lot uh, going on here. But if you can use uh, some ideas, I would be happy. But if you like to follow it precise, you can do that also. So then we can take uh, this out. Oops, uh, the tag pulled out also. So here's uh, this paper is really great. You can do some journaling for uh, on the stripes here. It can also be used for photos and some stamping on the back. And this was the tag inside here. Some more journaling here. So here I glued all it all down because uh, when it's going in and out of the pockets, it's uh, it can tear. Like so on the back side. So I can take it inside again. 
so and uh, now for the back side here of the last uh, page here I used uh, this uh, shabby chic uh, uh, key and keyhole and uh, fasten it on a chain so this opens like so and this is also magnet uh, closed and uh, this uh, flip out this way so I just had a little this was a leftover so I just stuck it in here and uh, here's another from uh, the tags and uh, pockets cut out so I made a belly band here and a couple of photo mats here so, so this slides in and holds in place in with the pocket here And on the side I have some more uh, tags, so I will also show you how you can make these eyelets. So it's the same tag on both sides, and one little, just for some fun and decoration. You can do some journaling here, so this stacks under here. So then we can close it up and you can maybe hear its magnets. So. And this goes inside the pocket. So now for the uh, inside cover on the last side here. It's, um, yeah, here I used the frame from the 12 by 12 and I also have uh, uh, made this uh, to have a pencil inside here. So it's a stopper for it on this flower here so it doesn't slide all the way down. And also popped up uh, these flowers here, so it's uh, really dimensional. And uh, I can take out this uh, tag, so it's just some leftover from the paper. I used almost all of it. So, and uh, yeah, and a punch from Martha Stewart here. So this uh, cover is a bit uh, larger uh, than the pages. Um, that's because I um, uh, wanted to use all uh, this uh, width of... Uh, this frame and also uh, I am making a sort of uh, box uh, for it so that I will share after um, the tutorial is uploaded but I can maybe give you a little hint of what it is and uh, it's uh, where the nice uh, princess lives so yeah so this uh, was uh, the album and I hope it uh, it's a bit inspiring and that you maybe can use uh, some ideas and it's a lot of room inside here for a lot of uh, photos as you can see so so and also if you have any questions uh, please look below the video there you will find some information how I answer them and you will also find uh, the link to my blog uh, uh, where I will post uh, close-up uh, pictures so, and also I want to thank you all for your uh, kind comments and support. It really means a lot to me. So, thank you all so much for that. So, take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye-bye.